And Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I attempted a challenge where I couldn't use caught Pokemon to battle. Link in the description if you want to watch it. And now I decided to take on the challenge to complete a shiny only Nuzlocke. Now, I've never done Nuzlocke before. So, I decided why not look up how shiny Nuzlocke's work and let's do the hardest version of it. Let me explain. The rules of a Nuzlocke is the first Pokemon you encounter, you have to catch it. Then you can't encounter any more Pokemon on the same route. Now, easy enough, but in this game, when encountering a Pokemon, you have options. So that rule is gonna be scrapped, unfortunately, but I will still do a shiny per route. Next, the game doesn't start until you catch a shiny Pokemon. That would be fine, but this game shiny locked the starters. So I'll have to roam around with a non-shiny, which isn't bad, to look for my starter. Lastly, if your Pokemon faints, it's gone and gets released to Arceus above. Hopefully, no one faints, am I right? <laughs> okay, now it's time for the new rule. I can't use any healing items during the battles of the Pokemon fights. I can use healing items outside of battle or in between battles. Finally, this will be unfortunately full odds. Why am I doing this? Well, I have no clue. Now, let's get on with the journey. So, before the video gets started, I do see y'all comments. I try my hardest to respond to all y'all, no joke. It's, it's definitely a lot. I really do appreciate everything y'all have done like it, it really does make my day the good and the bad especially the bad now i'm joking i'm joking and thanks to this guy right here this is the reason why i'm doing the shiny only run uh the nuzlocke uh this guy right here thank you so much for giving me this idea because well, without you i'll probably be doing something else but i also hate you because it took me so long just to do this thing so i really hope y'all enjoyed it took me a whole month so since shiny starters are not available until I get the ability to breed, of course, win or lose the first fight doesn't mean anything. Also, to get the ability to breed, I decided to go ahead, loosen the mono at the school so I could get past all the school cutscenes. Now that's over, I caught a score vet and started shiny hunting. Now Pokemon breeding is a lot easier than previous generations but the odds are still one in four thousand plus it's either gonna take a good amount of luck or a lot of time during the shiny hunt i stumbled upon a horde of lechonks now shiny hunting horde is a lot easier of course it starts at one in four thousand ninety six but after killing 60 pokemon the odds decrease to one in three thousand sixty five of course, if you had a shiny sandwich, it's like one in 2,024, but we don't have that. And of course, etc. you know, 500, we don't have those things. Right now, we have is one in 3,065, and it's a lot better than waiting around to hatch those eggs. Also, when shiny hunting, have y'all ever had the intense feeling of thinking you found shiny, but you don't? It's like your eyes are playing tricks on you. I don't know if it's because I've been looking for my shiny starter for eight hours, no joke. But when I tell you I thought I saw the shiny countless of times, I felt like I was going crazy. Eventually, we found that big pig pig starter. Wow, say that five times fast. Big pig pig starter, big pig pig starter. Uh, nope, nope, nope. So there are other rules I forgot to mention since it's my first Nuzlocke. So I'm going to state them as the time goes by. When you catch a Pokemon, you have to nickname it. No joke, I totally forgot about that rule and decided to shiny hunt in another horde. So after eight hours of finally getting our first shiny, in another hour, we actually found another Lechonk. Ironic, right? So here's another rule for Nuzlocke. It's called the Dupe Clause. If you find the same Pokemon on a new route, you can look for another one instead though this is a shiny lock and the fact that i found it this fast i'm not gonna be using that rule so since we're stating rules another one is we have to beat the game in order without over levels meaning whatever boss the level is 
we can't go past it until we fight the boss with two nameless pokemon don't worry i'll remember soon it's time to train up for the upcoming gym leader now the gym leader is the bug gym katie and while training the lechonks i realized that these pokemon can't do a lot of damage nor take it now i know what you're thinking they barely got any moves and they low levels i had a feeling you see me and you are connected so we're in a new area let's get another teammate no joke i dead thought the shiny lock would have been pretty decent i'm a shiny hunter i love hunting shinies but i've gotten too spoiled due to the newer changes in the pokemon shiny odds it took me four hours to finally find this fletching I'm glad I did, but like, damn. I hope my shiny luck gets better later on. And with these three added to the team, it's now time to take on Katie. Also, it's actually time for their nicknames. See, I told you I remember. First is Daryl and Darnell, the Lechonk duo. And next, Scarlet, the Fletchling. Heading towards Katie, I was confident I could take out her team. I immediately Terra and wasted no time with her. our first obstacle down now let's do some training aka a titan boss now i've never realized how much of a disadvantage i have this rock crab with the anger shell boosting its stats i should have looked for a new pokemon to help me but i am a pokemon master and this crab will not be the one to end my run after all these hours setting up tail whip so i could one shot it before it takes me out it used rock smash i was panicking but Thankfully, Darno finished off phase one. Now it's time for phase two. Starting off with Daryl this time. Throwing that derriere, I needed the AI to attack it so I could find a great time to switch. After whipping that thing around, I just realized I can't be switched out due to block. Now, I really need shelter to help. Using tackle, it got a lot worse. I tear it so I could get more damage and hope that cloth went after shelter. And due to all that ass shaking, I'm not gonna lie, he killed the shelter and Darno had enough to take out the cloth. Eventually Scarlet evolved and that concludes our training. With all the training completed, I'm now able to face my second obstacle. Taking on Brassius, I knew it would be hard due to the fact that his ace is pseudo wudo. Scarlet can easily sweep his team, but due to the rock typing, I'm four times weak to his ace. My strategy was, I was going to use Scarlet to finish off his first two Pokemon, Terra, and hope I can live one of his rock moves. Now, it's all a gamble. I used Flame Charge, though I should have used Pect and barely made a dent. It doing a lot of damage, but it didn't kill me. So now, it's time for the gamble. Terra boosted Peck took out the ace Pokemon. There goes the second gym. With that done, I hunted another shiny. With three hours in and multiple picnic resets, 
I finally found the shiny Growlithe. Oh, and Darna evolved. Thus, Puchita has joined the team. Comment down below if you know where that came from. So the funny thing happened. Wait. Wait, whoa. Wait, is that a shiny Mudbray? Am I bugging? Stop. 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 I literally know. Wait. Huh? Oh my. I literally just came onto the game. No joke. It's like uh, 9.43 a.m. I came onto the game and just. Shiny Mudbray just say, it's like, hey, what's up? So, yeah, that happened. And now I have a new member, Sandler. I also turned back on the settings to give nicknames when caught. The only reason why I was turned off was due to the fact that I was trying to breed for a shiny Fuyu Coco. Now, I didn't realize Bomb Birdier was level 25, so my Pokemon was underleveled. But Darnell took care of it again. Darnell and Daryl might just be the Titan defeaters. Also, I didn't realize they automatically put you back into the fight. I wanted to go back to the Pokemon Center, but it's fine due to Puchita's intimidate ability. Unfortunately, Daryl isn't evolved yet, so the hit will hurt, but the intimidate made it durable. The damage didn't go so well though, sending back up Puchita so it could keep losing its attack and using how to boost my partner and Puchita's attack. Then using Helping Hand, we defeated the Bomb Birdier with 4 levels under. Also, Daryl finally evolved. Now it's time to head to the Electric Gym, but first we have to do the second fight for the rival battle. The first time she beat me, I let her win because the lock didn't start. Now. I don't have to hold back. Swapping to Darnell and setting up Trailblaze speed, we had the advantage as Rock Rub goes down. Her Palmy is here, but it's gonna go down due to Dig. Two down, one to go. And Scarlet is the appropriate Pokemon to end this. Also, I'm not gonna lie. This is when I started looking up events for Pokemon levels. I didn't realize Scarlet was two levels ahead. My bad, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was preparing for the Electric Gym. That's why he's two levels ahead. Now it's time for battle. Puchita two shots the Watcho. Next is Belly Bolt, so I sent out Sandler. Now, this surprised me. It has the move Water Gun. I had to get Sandler out and send it Darnell. Setting up Trailblaze, then using Dig. Surprised that it lived but Darnell finished the job regardless. Now Daryl takes out Luxio. Terra Daryl versus Terra Ms. Magius. It goes for Confuse Ray. But I withstand it and land a strong tackle. If I don't land another, I lose. But this is Daryl, and we all know we won. And that ends the third gym. These battles are getting too close. Now doing a bit of training, I actually stumbled upon another shiny. Now that's the luck I'm talking about. Catching it, and now TikTok is on the team. With the training complete, now it's time to take on Team Star Mela. Bulldozing the Torkoal, Sandler did take more damage than I expected.
though I don't mind because Daryl is the goat that comes in clutch. Unfortunately, I got burned. Sending out Puchita, it gets an intimidation drop. I tried setting up, but I didn't know it had Screech. Back out into Sandler, dodging the overheat and using Bulldoze. Decent damage, and I swapped into Darnell. I tried using Yawn, but it doesn't work, and I got burned. Puchita is back to drop his attack, eating Swifts, slowly damaging with Bite until it fainted. With Mela finish, one of the hardest obstacles is soon to come. The Casa 4 gym. Alright, I know I didn't say that name right, and I don't care. I'm not gonna lie to you. Starting off, we fought the gym trainer. A little underleveled, but it's fine. Letting Daryl and Darnell take out his Pokemon. Now, does this man know I'm 10? Cause He's already started off my gambling addiction. I'm not I'm going to lie to you. Winning, of course. And now it's time to face my biggest obstacle. Now, the reason why he's my first biggest obstacle is due to my team being weak to water. Though that be the case, I won't lose. Starting off with Darnell, putting the Veluza to sleep. I think I said that right, Veluza? Then setting up my speed while finishing off the Pokemon. Walk Trio comes out and it gets hit with the same strategy. Walk Trio goes down. Now it's time for its ace. For its first appearance, TikTok is out. Eating a crab hammer, putting his Pokemon to sleep. Now it's time to Terra Extra Sensory. No damage. Yeah, I get out. Puchita's hair lowering his attack, but he woke up and used his crab hammer. He missed though. Thank RCS. Sending out Daryl again, eating a crab pepper, putting him back to sleep. It's very close for me, but I have to risk it. Trailblaze did good damage and he didn't wake up. So that's game. Oh, that's so close. If it wasn't for Daryl's sleep, I 100% would have lost. Anyways, Sandler's evolving. Now that I have three badges, I'm able to buy a Firestorm, leading to the evolution of Puchita. Now let's go fight the Steel Titan. With Puchita's new evolution, it was a breeze. I'm not gonna lie, this team is getting very strong. I don't see anything beating us now. With that done, it's time for the Poison Team Star member, Atticus. Skunk Tank is out and unfortunately, Sandler gets poisoned. 
could have been a clean sweep if it wasn't for that Pokemon. TikTok vs River Room, getting Bulldoze and missing Hypnosis, I swapped out into Scarlet predicting the Bulldoze. Taking too much damage, what back into Sander, getting flinched. Is looking bad. Puchita is out and takes out the Pokemon. A lot of damage has been taking place with my team. Daryl's out using workup and takes out the muck. Surviving the noxious torque and landing a good dig. I didn't know it had the ability toxic debris. They're really making these team star Pokemon amazing. Daryl living and doing more damage with dig. Sadly, I can't attack again due to the fact that I'm slower. TikTok is out, and due to the poison typing, I have a huge advantage. Though I made a mistake going for the damage route by terroring, but TikTok lived and finished the game. I could have used TikTok earlier, but I totally forgot about it. But it doesn't matter since he clutched up. Let's head to the mastery of efficacy. Starting off with Sandler using double kick. Then setting up Iron Defense, but gets put to sleep. It didn't matter since Sandler has high physical defense, though he did get a crit, and that did matter. What a waste. Now comes the newly evolved TikTok. Eating a drill run and using hypnosis, then getting some damage with extrasensory, it wasn't looking too good. So swapped into Darnell. Using Trailblaze to boost speed, then tackling it to death. Though I did get paralyzed, Darno took care of the job. Lastly, Puchita comes out against the Star Raptor, dropping its attack, then double swapping from Darno back into Puchita. We was able to drop his attack a good amount. Though our damage wasn't great, we did do another double swap, and now it's time to take a risk. Terra Flare Blitz. This has a chance to kill me as well. Living on six. Then using E speed. That is how you win a battle. Ah, too close. Moving on, we shiny hunter graveyard. With only one hour, we found the Pokemon. That was pretty fast to be honest. While doing a bit of training with Graveyard named Bestie, it evolved. We finally have an option if one of our Pokemon faints. Now it's time to take on the woman when she raps, you drop dead. You know her. You can't stand her. Bring out Roar! Our first double battle. Sandler and Puchita is out. Using Earthquake and sending out Talent Flame, we got a good amount of damage. Flame Charge to finish off the Bayonet and Heavy Slam for the Mimikyu. Her last two Pokemon is out, and I unfortunately made a misplay. I thought Scarlet was strong enough to take out the Toxicity. But it wasn't enough, and it goes down to a discharge. It's unfortunate because I just got an extra teammate. Plus, Scarlet was one of the OGs. Sandler takes out the Houndstone, and that's game. Now, it's time to release Scarlet for Arceus to take care of. I was not joking when I said we put in these Pokemon to Arceus in the sky. These people are getting released. As I was training up my Pokemon, I randomly stumbled upon a shiny Dedene. I guess that's a good extra teammate for the roster. Thus, Sweet Pea has joined the team. You know, I didn't know the Tusk Duel are level 45. In my last playthrough, can you beat Pokemon Scarlet without catching Pokemon? I believe I beat this Pokemon around level 30-ish. Anyway, Terra Sandler did his thing. Nimona is back for another rematch. Starting off with Sweet Pea and going for a Volt Switch. Sandler is out, finishing the job with Earthquake. Bestie is out against Sligu, missing a play rough and eating a Dragon Pulse twice finally landing it and taking out the slegu sandler is back against the palm mod and 
and took it out. Lastly, Puchita finishes off her ace. It's time to battle the elegant Tulip. Sweet Pea using Discharge, decent damage but barely living a Zen headbutt, both switching out into Puchita and finishing off the Pokemon. TikTok is here against Gardevoir and makes easy works with Heavy Slam. Bestie is out living a Shadow Ball and finishing off the Esparta. Lastly, her ace is Florgus, but Puchita takes care of it and that's the 7th gym done. From gym leader to gym leader, we are now facing the Ice King, Lucia. Getting straight into it, Puchita takes out the Frost Moth with these. Then TikTok tried with Bear Check, but it wasn't enough, so Sandley had to take the damage. While almost finishing the job, and Puchita finished it off. Darno with the sleep swap into Bestie to take out the Satitan. And Puchita finished off the Artaria. Now let's get started with the second to last Team Star member. Are now putting the Ozumaro to sleep, swapping to Sweet Pea, landing a discharge, and almost dying turn one. Sweet Pea used Bolt Switch, finish off the Ozumaro into TikTok. And Wigglytuff has also been taken out. Sandler takes out the dash bun. Now Puchicha swaps for the attack blower and Sandler finishes off the team star member. The last Titan gets destroyed by Sweet Pea and TikTok. Bestie took out the full Titan Dragon as well. Catching the shiny, and Mantis Gunner has joined the team. Uchicha is out lowering Toxic Croak's attack. And Sandler finishes the job. Bestie takes out Passimian. Puchita handles the Lucario. Mantis Gunner comes in doing great damage and gets swapped into Bestie. Then Darnell. Then Sweepy and gets taken out by Wolf Switch. Unfortunately, both switch effect didn't work, which is annoying. Swapping into Puchita, then Bestie doing some great damage out into Sandler. Stacking his defense, towering, and then finishing off the Team Star member. Now it's time to take on the Elite Four. But before we do that, I made a normal sandwich power and started hunting for Ursarings. While hunting, I found the Whooper. Then minutes later, the Ursaring. Thus, Mushy and Gris has joined the team. With the training complete, we are now ready for Rika, their first Elite Four member. While Mantis Gunner takes out the Wishcash, I'll explain the levels right now. Rika is level capped at 58 and Hazel's level capped at 61. So even if we go past 61, I will still use the Pokemon, but I doubt it will hit that high. Oh, and Donphan is down too. Bestie takes out Duck Trio, and Sandler takes out Camerupt. Mushy sleeps the ace, Pochita eats the hits, and finishes off the ace. One down, three to go. Poppy is next. Sending out Mantis Gunner, using Aura Spare, and it took out the Copper Jaw. 
This Pokemon is so much fun. Mushy finishes off the Magma Zone. Similar against the Bronze Zone, but it has Levitate. So instead, Puchita takes care of it. Bestie lowering the Corviknight's attack, and Mint is gonna finish it off the Pokemon. Well, almost. Last is Tinkerton, and that's for Puchita and Mushy. Puchita with the attack lower, and Mushy for the finish. Two down, two to go. Now it's a rematch against Larry. Sending up Toxic Spikes, then using Poison Jab, swapping to Puchita, and finishing off the Tropius. Bestie against Star Raptor, lowering his attack with Charm, swapping to TikTok, taking a huge crit, but still finishing off with Psychic. Otara goes down to Playwright from Puchita. Mushi takes out the Ordu Kodio. Lastly, Puchita lowers the Ace's attack. And unfortunately, Bestie had to go down to a Brave Bird so we could get a clean switch. Now Manta's gonna take out the Ace. Unfortunately, so long Bestie. You were a great asset to the team. The Denny is off the bench and on to the main roster. TikTok beats Doivern. Puchita finishes off the Haxorus. Senna ends the Dragalgy. Mushy takes out the Flapple. And Puchita is sent out to lower the its attack. Now Sweet Pea is on the field using Play Rough, but it does nothing. Risking the play using Puchita to lower some attack. Going out into Mantis Gunner. Living on 31 and ending the final pokemon now all the elite four members are done lastly it's the champion of paldea grita the top champion starting off as sparta versus mushy tiktok i mean tiktok was able to eat all of Ms. sparta's attacks putting it to sleep going to mantis gunner and end off the pokemon now it's time for mushy going up toxic spikes taking the zen headbutt and swapping to puchita Puchita takes out the Gogo. Mint is gonna take out the Avlog and King Gamut. And Sweet Pea discharges the Veluza, but almost dies. Ha, ah, Jesus. Sweet Pea is just not him. Mushy doesn't take the liquidation because I forgot it had Mold Breaker. Lastly, the Goop himself, Mantis Gunner, takes out her ace Pokemon. I am now the shiny lock champion. My first ever lock, and I am champion. Y'all already know we gotta get straight into the Nomona fight. She sets up rocks and I sets up toxic spikes. Missing a drill run, but we couldn't kill with an earthquake. This time, she lands a hit and it did decent damage. Now, Puchita does great damage on the earthworm and Sandler finishes it off. Mantis two shots to Guja. Sweet Pea dies and i don't care sweet pea has not done anything this mon sucks it does i'm sorry anyways send living and taking out the palm lot tiktok doing great damage to a psychic but gets critted unfortunately tiktok does go down mutt is gonna with the cleanup now it's her ace i have to give up my goop so mushy could win <laughs> And it didn't kill. Being under leveled really killed my team. With more than half my team gone, the B team is out and I need levels. Unfortunately, you get put into a battle right after. Like, what? I'm sorry, y'all. I, tr I, I tried, I did. That's the end of the lock. I didn't know literally you fight right after you beat Nimona. Unfortunately, I didn't win the lock, but I had fun. Next time, I will do better with two more partners at my side. Now, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, hit the like button, please, and have a nice day. Peace.